Banning San Gregorio Memorial Hospital is undergoing a major transformation. In 2006, voters approved Measure A that cleared the way for the $108 million project that will significantly upgrade the small hospital. Stuff, even though you don't see it here today, it's already being fabbed in the shops. The project brings a new emergency room and intensive care unit by 2013 to the 60-year-old hospital. And a new central plant will be up and running next month. Our hospital is 60 years old. To retrofit this hospital would cost significantly more than building a new facility. And we would never be able to get the design features into an old facility that we can build into a new one. Community tours held once a month lead staff and the community through mock-up shells, samples of what future emergency department and ICU rooms will look like. The overwhelming sentiment is that we're building a beautiful facility that's going to be very, very functional. Necessary changes will be incorporated into the final designs for the rooms. The first floor of Building 1C will feature 23 exam rooms and five fast-track rooms, while the second floor will include 16 rooms for the ICU bringing the hospital up to current seismic standards. Uh, currently, they're operating in a facility that's working against the time clock in terms of its ability to stay compliant with the seismic requirements and various other regulations that are coming down the pike. And dramatically expanding the emergency department. Doubling the size of our emergency department and adding 10 new intensive care unit beds. And all private rooms for patients with more room for visitors. Original plans included a six-story building for patient care, which would not be covered by Measure A funds. The central plant, which is nearly complete, includes new steam boilers, chilled water and emergency generator equipment, which could be easily expanded if a new patient tower is added in the future. By taxing themselves uh, through a bond measure, they were able to really show their commitment for a long-term hospital in their community. In Banning, Julianne Non, The Press Enterprise.